Hey guys, it's Space of Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And today I want to talk about your social media. This isn't about business. This isn't about anything else. It's about you personally with social media, okay? Um, there's a lot going on out there. There's a lot going on out there. You can go see what's going on with me at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Sorgatron.com. But uh, I, I know a lot of people are bewildered these days because of um, you know all the you know all the stuff going on, all the controversy, all the violence and reactions and everything. And I know it's it's like you went to Thanksgiving and uh, and 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 everybody's letting you know how everything's uh, um, such and such politicians' fault or whatever the case may be. Uh, that's uh, absolutely you know insane in your mind. Um, and now that never ends. I, you know, I used to talk about. Um, with social media, it, it blew my mind when I, I noticed with my nephew, you know, I, back in the day, I used to go to school and I get picked on and have to deal with the pressures of school and and that that sucked. But I got to go home and not, well, I probably dwelled on it because I'm a worrisome individual, um, but I it didn't persist afterwards because that was it, you know, people weren't calling on, my, on the phone pranking me or anything like that, you know, it, that was it. Versus now, it continues 24 hours on Facebook. And, uh, and I thought that was a really interesting social change. And, and no wonder, you know, some of these kids are having more problems uh, than maybe they had before as far as anxiety and such. But, um, but, but then that also persists as, you know, as I mentioned, you know, you guys just uh, visited your folks on the holidays. Maybe you have some varying political opinions on the world. And, but then that left when you, when you left. Right. After Thanksgiving dinner. Right. You're, you're done. You're done. That's it. You can go back to, you know, your life and your political views and not have to be challenged with them every day. Right. Oh, it's a dream. Right. Uh, but then, well, hey, everybody's on Facebook. Everybody's on Twitter. You still get it. You get you get the videos. You get the Fox News. You get the the pictures about uh, the real facts on gun control. And I've seen both sides, guys. I'm just I'm not picking a side on this. Um, I try to very, very much be on, you know, I try, I, 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 that's not the conversation I want to be on on social media. Um, but there's tools out there and, and, and it always amazes me because I see the complaints about it. I see the complaints. I see the complaints. I saw the complaints several weeks ago about the uh, Starbucks coffee cups, but you know what I noticed about the Starbucks coffee cups? And then others, then I saw other people noticing this too. I see more people complaining about the people complaining about the Starbucks coffee cups than people complaining about the Starbucks coffee cups. That's when I knew I had the right group of people. I, and there is a little bit of, well, you're listening to the, to your group, your core group, whatever the case may be, right? That is true. But you don't need to be inundated with, with uh, 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 you know, opinions like that all the time. For instance, I mean, um, there's uh, certain things on, on Facebook, you know, certain certain times I I'm friended with somebody that I'm not close friends with and I don't want to see your baby, you know, uh, great, great for you. I don't want to be reminded that I don't have kids. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's one of those things. And, 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 you know, I have friends, good friends, good colleagues, and they have very different opinions on politics, guns, religion etc. And they have the tools now. Uh, you've noticed Facebook. Well, one, you can mute or unfollow people from, from Twitter. That's a very one or zero kind of reaction, of course. Um, and do that. Uh, again, looking at my newsfeed, I have people that will tell me, holy crap, something bad happened in Paris. But you know what I'm not hearing about? Um, whose fault is it? You know, irrationally or anything like that. I'm not getting that. I'm sitting there and I'm getting what I want in my Twitter feed. I've cultivated that over the years, right? Um, because my, my Twitter feed is a place to do this, this, and this conversation. Not that conversation over there. You'll let me know something important happened, like Paris, or locally, or something like that. But I don't need to hear the rest of that noise. That's up to you as a user to do that and make that decision and take the time to do that. It can be one fell swoop it can be um i'm in my feed and i say that is not something i need to see in my feed every day boom you're gone democracy by the unfollow button really uh for your own your own uh feed now facebook has a more 
um, interesting approach. And again, the mysteries of the Facebook algorithm, but you have a button over there in the top right usually. Maybe they've changed that by the time this releases because they change the things all the time. And there's an, I don't want to see this. And this, again, they're always changing this, but the last time I did this, it said, I don't want to see this. And it gives you like, well, why don't you want to see this? Is it stuff from that website? Is it stuff from that person? Is it stuff of this nature? Um, it, it drills down a little bit. And and so, you know, I don't want X person to show me his, uh, trying to say this politically accurate, um, extensively leaning one way or the other opinions. And I hate, and I hate leaning both sides. I, I want to say I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm distasteful of the left as I am the right personally. Um, and I see both sides, but honestly, I find more of the right. I disagree with, I guess that makes me left here. Anyways, either way, whichever way it is, I start seeing lots of that, but it's still around when I can, let, let's say my sister, said some, had something on there I didn't agree with that I didn't want to see in my feed, you know, and, you know, and I said, okay, I don't want to see any of that stuff. I'm still getting, hey, how do my nephew do? Hey, what's going on with here? Hey, what's going on back home? You know, I'm still getting those feeds. Oh, hey, here's a funny video. But I don't get X feeds anymore, right? And now my Facebook is a safe place for me to go and not get pissed off. If you're going to social, me social media and getting pissed off, that's a... That's a personal decision. You decided that, you know, that's what you're going to do there and accepted that's what where you're going to go. What, and then why are you going to go to it? I don't go to Facebook anymore. Just a bunch of people piss you off. The Facebook is the people that you want to Facebook with, that you want to communicate with, and they give you the tools to do that. Not everybody knows that. I understand. But these are tools. You don't need to take everything in. You don't need to absorb everything there is on the Internet. Whether that be just for your personal, I'm going to go and see what's going on in the world and my friends and stuff and, and my coworkers and whatever. Or I want to go, see, I want to use this to exact a certain message and goal on the internet. I want to use this to get my thoughts and my podcast out there. I want to use this to get my business and get clients and have them know uh, what I'm about and talk with them. You know, it, it, it's, it's, that's, you need to drill that down. I think you need, well, you need to on any of those cases, but, a, and again, we're mostly talking about your personal use here and how you use that. Um, you know, it doesn't need to be, a, it, it can be a safe place, but as with anything, you kind of need to work on that. Just as you need to cultivate a safe place and safe um, environment in your workplace, in your home, you also need to on social media because this is an extension of everything. So. And then as a, uh, my good friend, Jim Ellermeyer of Fishing Without Bait, the other podcast we do here on Sorgatron Media, uh, always says, you don't have to be on it. You don't have to turn on the TV and watch Fox News. You don't have to be on Twitter and get pissed off and bang your head against your phone. You don't have to do this stuff. It's your decision. Let me know what you think on the Twitters, if you're still on it, if you haven't shut it off by now, at Sorgatron on Twitter, Sorgatron.com, and check out everything else at SorgatronMedia.com, SidekickMediaServices.com, and we can debate on the Twitter. Just don't want to debate on the other things. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.